this video is a demonstration of my uh, servo driven uh, small turntable uh, yeah, the track on the uh, deck is HO gauge and uh, I designed this primarily for OEM30 but anyway you can see it's uh, lined up with the bottom track which is the one I call track 1 uh, it's the entry track if I want to go to track 2 I just push the button for the track and the servo goes across to track 2 come back to track 1 and I'll now also go to the uh, track 3 and it lines up very well in each case. The problem is that if I go back to track 1 coming the other way, you'll notice that it actually is short of the track. And the reason for this is the backlash in the gearbox. So effectively what I have to do is go towards track 2 and come back to track 1. I'll demonstrate that again. So now I'll go to track 3. Now, and you can see it's lined up. Now I'll push track 2, but I want to go to track 1 when it goes past there. I push track one and it returns back. As again, the problem there is the um, taking up the uh, gear backlash, and this is a problem with any turntable with a gearbox in it. And servos, although the gear meshes are tight um, due to the requirement of model aircraft, so that their flaps don't wiggle up and down as they're flying and uh, etc. Uh, this is what I had to do to it. By the way, note that the servo used as a 180 degree digital servo I found that uh, when I was setting one of these up the normal 90 degree analog servos actually lost a certain amount of power as they got to their final end point and would not always center home okay so I bought some 180 degree servos and it is programmable to just on 180 degrees but I need to change the coding in the microprocessor to allow me finer steppings for adjustment at the moment there's 256 steps for the 180 degrees and I need to say make it 512 steps for say 190 degrees so that I can uh, arrange backlash etc etc Speed step 8 is the slowest the servo mate can run at. And you can see now I'm approaching track number 1, the gear backlash problem. So I'll just advance to 2 and then back off to 1 and it lines it up. Alright, so that's my little turntable. Thank you for watching.